F-P-A-R-P at Sugarcane Breeding Institute. Iswaran is a sugarcane farmer. He lives with his family at his farmhouse in Kutarepaliam village in Coimbatore district of Tamil Nadu. Iswaran's day starts with a regular visit to his sugarcane field. When he wishes to irrigate his field, he follows a routine. He checks the readings in the soil moisture tensiometer that is fixed permanently in his field. Mr. Iswaran has also brought a soil moisture indicator with him. He tests his soil using this indicator by inserting the rods. Convinced that his field needs immediate irrigation, Mr. Iswaran switches his irrigation motor on. Now, this routine of a farmer scheduling his irrigations based on a scientific approach may be surprising to many of us. This has been the dream of many of the policymakers and agricultural scientists of our country. Mr. Iswaran's routine has been made possible thanks to the efforts of a single program the Farmers Participatory Action Research Program, FPARP, executed by Sugarcane Breeding Institute, Coimbatore. Agriculture accounts for about 83% of the freshwater withdrawals in our country. Due to ignorance and lack of awareness about the technologies and methods of effective utilization of available water in the agricultural sector, a large chunk of water is lost. Farmers need to participate in any program relating to agriculture to make it broad-based and more meaningful. This participatory concept was conceived by the Ministry of Water Resources, Government of India, and FPARP was born. We launched FPARP at Sugarcane Breeding Institute on 28th March 2008 with the following objectives. 1. To study the socio-economic profile of the participating cane growers using participatory tools. 2. To sensitize the cane growers on FPAR and water management issues and ascertain their perceptions towards FPAR. 3. To facilitate in diagnosing farm level problems to facilitate designing experiments based on the identified problems. 4. To facilitate conduct and evaluation of experiments. Find out the potential constraints and farm level acceptability of the recommended sugarcane technologies and to disseminate the findings of the experiment. Our long-term objective was to facilitate the farmers in adopting improved sugarcane production technologies with optimum water usage and to enhance their income. Three regions representing three distinct agroclimatic zones of Tamil Nadu were chosen for conducting experiments. Dharmaburi district was chosen to represent the semi arid northwestern zone. The Dharmaburi district cooperative sugar mills was the cooperating partner in the zone. Kadalur district was chosen to represent the coastal Kaveri delta zone. The MRK Cooperative Sugar Mills was the cooperating partner in the zone. Coimbatore and E Road districts were chosen to represent the irrigated western zone. The Banadi Aman Sugars was the cooperating partner. Fifty cane growers belonging to fifty villages in these regions were selected. They will be called as FPARP participants, not beneficiaries, and they will be conducting the experiments. To start with, participatory discussions with the farmers were initiated for problem identification. Their knowledge on sugarcane technologies and present cultivation practices were assessed. After a series of discussions, the problems were identified and the plan of action for solving those problems was arrived at. Seven improved technologies were identified for experimentation. 1. Biofertilizer Application 
2. Drip fertigation with pit method or paired row planting. 3. Integrated nutrient management. 4. Drought management. 5. Trash mulching. 6. In situ trash composting and 7. Vermicompost. Each experimental plot was of one hectare size, with half of it earmarked as control. Now that the problems faced by the farmers were identified, we conducted a series of awareness campaigns in the FPARP action sites. An awareness campaign was conducted at Alatakumbai village in Erod district. A campaign at Setiato, Kadalur district followed. We conducted a two-day awareness campaign at Dharmapuri with three components, namely method demonstrations in the farmers' fields, training session, and participatory planning of activities for implementing FPARP. Sensitizing the cane growers was one of the objectives of the project. We took the FPARP participants from all the three zones to undergo a training program on water management for sustainable sugarcane production at the Irrigation Management Training Institute, Tidachurapalli. <laughs> We also organized a study tour for the FPARP participants. They were exposed to various water management practices being adopted by progressive farmers of Tamil Nadu. We visited a sprinkler irrigation plot in EID Parry Sugars area. A visit to the Namadu Padi Malyam, a visit to sugarcane research station of the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University at Sirugamani, and a share your experiences meeting with an award winning vermiculture farmer in Panikambati village. <laughs> In return to their earnest participation in FPARP, incentives in the form of inputs were distributed to FPARP participants in three phases, namely, after planting of the first crop, after harvest of the plant crop, 
and during ratoon crop. The program was effectively monitored by the Central Water Commission, Government of India. The monitoring team visited several FPARP plots and discussed with the farmers. The FPARP project witnessed excellent coordination and linkage mechanisms with like-minded central agencies such as the Central Groundwater Board and state agencies such as the Department of Agricultural Engineering besides the sugar factories. The results of the project were presented and discussed in various forums. Considering the importance of water conservation, several pioneering initiatives were taken up through FPARP. We celebrated the World Water Day with the participation of the farmers in Akarai Negamum village in 2009. and Atipaliam village in 2010. Soil moisture tensiometer, a device to assess soil moisture level, was hitherto used predominantly only by scientists. As a step towards making the farmer a researcher, this device was installed in all the 50 FPARP farmers' fields. Demonstrations were held in the farmers' fields on how to handle this device until each and every FPARP participant became well versed in its operation. <laughs> Laser levelers have been found to conserve water considerably. A demonstration of laser leveler was held as part of FPARP to create awareness among the cane growers. Kanjir 
technical bulletins on various water conservation techniques were prepared and distributed. And then laser nila sama prati. Ada anda, apa dia apa yang nak abang kita itu, orang tuan itu pakai ye de, anda beri bawa kuli de, anda, apa beri itu mara, tanah alor itu tu, goin teraja orang lekat itu orang. A prototype of a simple and handy soil moisture indicator device to assess the soil moisture status and irrigate accordingly was tested in the farmer's field. Ini adalah untuk mandal untuk kuti itu, jadi semua, erat itu baca itu, untuk pinna mati, untuk light amuk ni, na, ini orang yang allah rukai, adik tahu tu beri anda color light teri, enak color teri, enak color teri tu kan? Ni lak. To top this all, the FPARP participants took the water conservation pledge. Administered by the principal investigator of FPARP. Demonstrations were held regularly initially on all the technologies. The participants themselves were encouraged to practice. Seed material and extension literature were distributed to the participants. The FPARP team from Sugarcane Breeding Institute conducted a number of field visits to monitor the crop and to discuss with the farmers. The research personnel who were posted in the respective zones maintained an excellent rapport with the cane growers. The fruits of all these efforts have been gratifying. Let us see the yield of the sugar cane crop in the 50 site. There was a mean yield increase of 7.8% in the FPARP plots of Calvary Delta Zone, 11.5% in the Northwestern Zone, and 11.9% in Western Zone. Among the seven technologies, trash mulched FPARP plots witnessed the highest yield improvement of about 12%. followed by drip fertigation, drought management, and INM. Those FPARP participants who got higher yields in their respective zones were felicitated and encouraged. <laughs> We found that the adoption of improved technologies have impacted in increasing yields of sugarcane and saving water. We found that in the experimental plots, water saving was up to 21%. Encouraged by the results, we conducted a series of sensitization campaigns in all the zones. A multimedia campaign on more sugarcane crop and income per drop was held at Dharmapuri. <laughs> Yeah.
मूलपुर a sensitization campaign on water conservation in Setiatop and East Tanjavur region of the Kaveri Delta Zone was conducted. அது வந்து இந்த காச்சல் நாளையில வந்து இந்த சோக பரப்பு இடம் வந்து கரும்பு உதவாமலே சோல சோகம் அடைய சோக அடையாதே கரும்பு வந்துதுங்க சோக பரப்பாத இடத்துல வந்து கரும்பு வதகி கொஞ்சம் தண்ணி கட்டு போட ஆகி காஞ்சி போய் ரொம்ப கொஞ்சம் அது கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டத்தை பண்ணுது சார் தண்ணி வந்து ஏதாவது மிச்சமா இருக்குங்களா முந்தி வந்து நாங்க கணக்கு தெரியாத எப்பவும் பாய்ச்சிற மாதிரி நிறைய பாய்ச்சி வேஸ்ட் ஆகும் சார் தண்ணி இந்த மீட்டர் கொடுத்ததனால அந்த மீட்டர் பிரகாரம் தண்ணி பாய்ச்சறதனால எவ்வளவு தண்ணி மிச்சம் ஆகுதுங்க கொல்லிலயும் ஈரப்பதம் தெரிஞ்சு பயிரும் நல்ல முறையில காய்ச்சல்ல நல்ல முறையில கிளம்புதுங்க அதனால ஒண்ணு பயிருக்கும் நஷ்டம் தெரியல எங்களுக்கு நல்ல லாபமா தெரியுது தண்ணி தண்ணி குறைவா கட்டறதனால மகசூல்ல ஏதாவது இழப்பு ஏற்படுச்சு அதனால ஒண்ணு இழப்பு ஏற்படுதுங்க நல்ல முறையில பச்சை வெடிச்சு நல்ல துருவம் வருதுங்க कंट्रोल आ रहा है अधिक मुझे ना अगर कन्नाम ना तन्नी ऊर्ध्व तो नाला मासूल मुझे नर्चा वाला कन्नाम ना नहीं वरों इधर ला नाला उर्ध्व डमा नाला वो वर्ग में अगर नाला तन्नी मिच्छे माव दे इंगलों का प्रचन नाला तो कुछ ना इधर कुछ नाला रहते हैं अंदर तिट्टती नाड़ी पड़े लग बंदे मुदल तिट्टा म we also conducted the Western Zone sensitization campaign in Coimbatore and Erode districts. मिचल <laughs> विवसाय रोम ऊक तरकूर इतर मेला पी विणर एपाल कणगूड़ उ 
seventy percent of the fresh water withdrawal is for agriculture purpose and uh, if you take India it is almost eighty three percent it's a huge quantity of water that is being utilized for agriculture sector and it has to be managed efficiently and effectively for the sustained growth of agriculture uh, any such initiative to conserve water needs the participation of the farmers. Without the farmers' participation, no such uh, initiatives will be successful. It is in this context that the Ministry of Water Resources conceived the Farmers' Participatory Action uh, Research Program uh, to create awareness among the farmers about the need for conserving water resources. Uh, sugarcane was identified as one of the crop because sugarcane consumes huge quantity of water because it's a one year crop. A kilogram of sugar produced uh, requires about 2500 liters of water that is excluding the water used for processing in the industry. So this is a huge amount of water that is consumed by the crop. In the case of uh, FPARP on sugarcane our idea was to introduce farmers about improved production technologies and also uh, technologies on water management, particularly on the optimum use of water and improving uh, sugar pr sugarcane productivity. Uh, we have demonstrated seven technologies, seven improved technologies by which uh, sugarcane production can be improved and also we can conserve water to a significant level. Uh, uh, these were achieved through 50 demonstrations. Apart from these demonstrations, we have also conducted campaigns on the importance of uh, conserving water for the sustained uh, growth of the agriculture sector. We have taken the farmers also to the Irrigation Management Training Institute, Trichirapalli. Farmers are convinced about the importance of water conservation. We hope that uh, even at the conclusion of this project, farmers will continue to adopt uh, these newer technologies, both for the improvement in productivity and also for conserving water on a sustainable basis. The FPARP at Sugarcane Breeding Institute was implemented in a participatory mode, and we expect high sustainability of all our initiatives. We strongly believe that the farmers will continue adopting the improved sugarcane technologies. They will also be careful in the utilization of the available water resources, even after the completion of the program. This has been achieved with the earnest participation of all the FPARP participants and the support we received from our cooperating partners and like-minded agencies. This involvement and participation is the soul of FPARP. Looking back, we have a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment of completing a purposeful journey.